Hello and welcome to STEM Kitchen. STEM Kitchen, STEM Kitchen, gluten-free, vegan eats, stem tastic treats. Today I'm going to talk about something that I don't really ever talk about, which is my pet peeves. These aren't pet peeves about having a limb difference, because I love having a limb difference. These are pet peeves around how other people behave in relation to my limb difference. So let's talk about those. Okay, so the first thing, this is so important. If you are my friend, if you know me, if you hang out with me at all, if you spend any kind of time with me, please know that it is absolutely not appropriate to put something in my left pocket because I will forget it. I will not be able to get it out. Like I cannot tell you how many times <laughs> my incredible partner Allison will put something in my left pocket, like maybe a credit card or a car key, and she'll be like, oh yeah, I'll just stick it in your pocket. And she'll put it in and I'm just like, how am I supposed to get it out? Like I can't reach in, especially when I'm walking around, like it's, you try getting something out of your left pocket with your right hand, it's unbelievably difficult. Uh. Second thing that does, I guess, bother me a little bit more, but again, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's typically when people who I don't know maybe as well, you know, see me and they maybe think I need help with something and they don't realize I'm missing a hand. They come up and they say, do you need a hand? And then they notice my arm and then they get all weird and they're just like, oh God what did I say? And they get really flustered and frustrated, upset, and they, they feel weird or they feel embarrassed. And then I'm sitting there being like, hey, it's okay, don't worry, I'm not offended. Wasting my energy trying to make them feel better over something that they said that didn't really bother me in the first place, but their weird actions now are making it into a bigger deal than it ever had to be. So that's an example of a small pet peeve that I have. <laughs> Although it does make you rethink the phrase, need a hand. <laughs> kind of funny actually. <laughs> sometimes I do need one, sometimes I don't. It, it depends. <sighs> you know when you go into a bathroom in any public place and they have handheld dispensers and they all say on them, pull down with both hands. What? Unnecessary language. Pull down on both sides. Or why don't you make something that's a little bit more accessible for people something you just pull with one or maybe something a bit more automatic or something I don't know, just a little bit more ergonomic and easier to access so you don't have to rely on two working hands. And I know, I know, it's just a handheld dispenser. But I mean, little things like this in your day-to-day -day life, they really do add up and they can get under your skin. But it points to a larger societal issue of like, how can we make our items and things and spaces more accessible to people of all different body types and disabilities and shapes and all these things? Just thinking about making the world more accessible for everybody. Why not? Okay, so the fourth pet peeve that I have that really does bother me, like big time bother me to my core. This always happens with like stranger or like a new person or whatever, or probably people who have never met anyone who is missing a limb before or has any kind of disability at all. People who will ask, you know, oh, what happened to your hand? And I'm usually happy to answer that question. Oh, I was born this way. And then the first thing that they say after that is, oh, I'm so sorry. And it's like, what, why, why are you sorry? What in your brain made you feel like you had to say that? Do I look, like what, why, why are you sorry? For, for many people that say that now that I'm a bit older, I will ask, I'll say why? And it'll catch them off guard. They'll have to figure out something to say that makes sense because it doesn't really make sense. I definitely don't need or desire anybody's pity. Nobody really does. And quite honestly, the only reason I'm making this video, it's not for me, it's for other people. It's for kids with limb differences. It's for other folks with disabilities and people interacting, pardon me, people interacting with the public, dealing with questions and comments and stares, and maybe they don't feel fully emotionally equipped to deal with that stuff. Maybe they've received too many negative messages about who they are and their bodies and what they can or can't do that they think it's okay for someone to say, oh, I'm so sorry. That can really sink into your soul and start to tell us messages about ourselves and who we are that our very existence is something to be pitied. That's just so dehumanizing and uncomfortable and not okay. 
Mittens, why on earth do you have to sell them in a pair? Sell them individually. And then no matter how many hands you have, you get to decide if you want a pink one and a green one, this shape or this shape. Maybe one of your hands is way bigger than the other. I don't know, I don't know how hands grow. You'll still make as much money, just like let us either buy one if we need or two or maybe you need three. I don't know what you're doing with your mittens. I just don't understand because I cannot justify. You know what? I don't think I've ever purchased a pair of mittens for myself because why? It's like I'm throwing half of my money away, you know? People either make them for me or they'll give it to me as a gift. Please sell your gloves individually. Just do it and your socks and your shoes. Like I know leg amputees that would love that. <laughs> so. Anyway, I'm sure I have more pet peeves, but those are the five that really came out strong in my mind when I thought about making this video. And I hope some of them gave you a bit of a laugh and maybe some gave you something to think about. I would love it if you subscribe to STEM Kitchen on YouTube. You can also support me on Patreon if you want to. That would be amazing. If you like this video, share it with somebody that you love and let me know. What are your pet peeves? Comment them down below. We'll see you next time on Stump Kitchen. Bye. Stump Kitchen, Stump Kitchen, gluten-free, vegan eats, Stumptastic treats. But I also joke like, you know, if you ever want to hide something on me, something important that I will never find, something small enough to fit in a pocket, put it in the left pocket of any of my pairs of pants. I will never look into it. Whenever I'm putting pants in the washer or whatever, I never check the left pocket because I never put anything in there. I always put stuff in my right pocket. So, you know, if you want it destroyed in the wash or hidden from me forever, put it in my left pocket. I will not find it.